I mean, it's a lot more spacious than you think. And uh, I can definitely see that going out west, you know, off-roading, boondocking. This is your Hawaii mobile. Exactly. You can take it to the Grand Canyon. That's it. Have a little snack. I like it. Get used to this one because this is how you're doing the Honolulu. It even has a potty. Look at that. So we have never been in a park model before because we're driving so much, you know, we figured you can't have them, but it's incredible. I mean, they were like a full house and the kids just found the loft. Come on with me. Where'd they go? <laughs> Are you guys up there? Yeah, there's so much space up here. It's a whole room for the kids. This is going to be our new playroom. Oh my goodness. Toys. How awesome is that? Come on. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. <laughs> How was it? That was amazing. That can be our new playroom because it's so big. Is it? All right. Come on. Um, you go too. Oh my goodness. That's like a whole room. I know, right? Wow. Wow, look at this space. I know, this is it's amazing. It's like a, wow. And you're sitting down and, and you're not even hitting your head. That is fantastic. <laughs> that is true, I'm sitting down and I'm not hitting my head. I can actually sit up in the loft. So technically I could hang out with the kids up here. How awesome is that? This is a little house. Hey, I can definitely see how people, if they have a seasonal spot, and I, I'm sure there's many of you out there, I can see myself in a hard model like this, you know, if you're not moving it a lot, that's fantastic. I mean, it's your home away from home. Love it. <laughs> So we're here at Jayco and we're going to be looking at the new 2023 North Point 377 RLBH. And if you wonder why that's familiar, newer version of ours. Yes. So we're going to take a look at all the different changes that they made. Exactly. We saw lots of changes last year, so we're excited to see what they did yeah. to improve it this year. Lots happened since 2020. Oh, yes. We may be looking for an upgrade. <laughs> Well, the uh, pass-through is still the same, exactly, but they did. Outside TV. Yep, but they did upgrade the uh, grill outside, it's a Blackstone. <gasps> what? Well, they were doing the Blackstone, now it's a different company, but it's a griddle. And uh, the only thing is, you have less uh, refrigerator space. Yes. But more shelf space. More shelf space, that is correct. Nice. And you know what? It is a number one selling mid-living room floor plan. Oh, it's fantastic. It's so hard to get rid of. Like we're trying to change and we're trying to, you know, look at other floor plans, but it's pretty fantastic. Um, Especially newer. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So we did notice a change uh, to the uh, tires. The suspension is still the same, it's the CR3000, it's ours, just like ours, um, but they did go from the Goodyear tires to the Uniroyal tires, mm -hmm. so uh, I'm not sure why they changed them, but yeah. Uh, Goodyear the Endurance to the Uniroyal yeah. SR2? RS2. RS2? Yeah, so. Wow. It's beautiful. So it's, it feels like home, because we, it's our home, right? But yeah, they did make some changes. Um, they have a uh, lid over the microwave again. I guess they just continued that last year and uh, replaced it with a wine rack and everybody's like, well, where's the door? Because of the extra storage. Um, so they put that back. And then what I think is funny is you can tell that Jayco is listening to people because we saw a bunch of people in the Jayco group um, changing the shelves in the, in the uh, mid bunk area. So if you know what the 377 layout is uh, from last year and before, um, there was no shelf in the wall, and now they put the shelves in there. So that's pretty cool. Right here. This is something that actual uh, uh, the, the customers or we did to our rigs 
um, just to have that extra shelf space. So that's pretty cool that they listened and actually did it factory installed. Fun, but everything else is pretty much the same. I just uh, realized they have made the sink much better. It's one big piece and I do love having the dark faucet. That's pretty cool. Love it. We have found the Super C section, so we are going to explore a little bit and take a look at these mega beasts. These things are fantastic. Pam already has her eyes set on a few of them. We're starting with a Class C maybe, and then we'll go to a Super C. We go, you got to go from a pop-up to a pull-behind little trailer, then go to, you know, a B Class, Class C. I mean, we have a long way to go. Super C is just fantastic. You know what you need with a Super C? A Jeep. You know what I'm saying? These things are meant to haul vehicles, big trailers. That's what we're after. we saw yeah just a little bit bigger and it has so a, so there is space for children that's a plus I don't know about you but we love bench seating that is one thing that I wished we had in the fifth wheel is having bench seating it's just so cozy and cushy I just love it what can you put right there Oh, toys. She said you can put stuffies. You can put right stuffies here. and toys. <laughs> that's a perfect I place think for that's toys. A great idea. <laughs> Huge bedroom. That's beautiful. So Blippi's favorite color. That's Blippi's favorite. I mean, just going into one of these, you'd never think that it feels so homey. It's like a condo on wheels. And what's great about the Super Seas is you can pull so much with that. You can. Like an extra car. You can pull probably two, three cars. <laughs> We're going to start going to races. A golf cart, a vehicle, bicycles. I love it. Let's check it out. Oh, this is the bug house or something? Yep. Wow, that, oh, well, this can accommodate all of us plus some. Oh. That is pretty cool. Same thing, you got the dinette, you got a big loft over the cab, the beds. kitchen. Oh my gosh. Apparently, there's bunk beds. Beautiful. That's awesome. And of course, you got to have a fireplace. That is a must. <laughs> all right, I think they found their area. <laughs> Wow. I go on the top. No, this is we can't so reach So spacious. So you sleep with this right here. Come way right down. No, I sleep on the top. No, Oh, got a washer and dryer combo. There you go. Nice. It's more than what we have. <laughs> Monsters, monsters get you. What's going to get you? Monsters going to get you on the bottom? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> Got to go to the top. <laughs> and I can play anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yes, you could. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Look at this huge television. And what's great is it actually pulls out and you can angle it wherever you need it. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and I'm sure that you can turn around those uh, driver's seats so you have a little bit more seating. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. More show to go. Let's do this. Wild and crazy. We just got started. <laughs> it's training. Oh, wow. Look at you! Yeah. 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 
Look at that! Big applause! All right, so we stopped by the general RV section and we are looking at the Fortis 36Y. And we're gonna go in and take a look. It's right here behind us, beautiful paint job. Pam is absolutely excited. Woo! Yep, there she is. <laughs> and you know what, the kids are already They're walking already in. They're already in it, yeah. so. <laughs> Must be a great floor plan. Let's take a look. This is absolutely fantastic already. I love this floor plan. You walk in and there's a corner bench. That is exactly what I wanted. And I've never seen it before in a rig. That's you know what I like more than anything? Is that Glenn is watching the kids while you're having fun. <laughs> kids are so good. I really do appreciate so good. it. <laughs> I put them in their playroom in the back. Yeah, there we go. Well, come on this way because it's fantastic. There's so much more to see. Look at that kitchen. Look at this beautiful kitchen. That's fantastic. I love that you have the extra space. They have those covers, more cutting space. Fantastic. And full bathroom. Look awesome. at that shower. I think even you can fit in it. <laughs> you got your fridge, bedroom. Absolutely fantastic. Huge. And the best thing is there's a room in the back. Are you kidding? Look at this! Tunnel. What? Couch, TV, little toy chest, loft. She's, I mean, she's already doing the Rubik's Cube. The washer and dryer. Sophia can be trained to do the laundry. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and another bathroom. That's awesome. So the kids are self-contained back here. That's awesome. <laughs> so we just walked by the Frontier GTX. 37 RT and we're going to go take a look because this is a brand new floor plan that has a rear surprise. Let's check it out. Oh my goodness. That's incredible. That's amazing. It feels like a house. That's what I love about the diesel pushers. They don't feel like an RV. They feel like a home, like a solid home. Wow. That's new. They have a vanity. That is beautiful. Fireplace, gotta love the fireplace. Kitchen, absolutely beautiful. I love the window and the tile in front of it. That is beautiful. And what's cool is it's glass, so it breaks up the wood a little bit, but it's not see-through. So if you have a mess in there, it doesn't matter. <laughs> There's your mid-bathroom, decent size. Nice big bedroom. I mean, look at this. Pretty amazing. Sliding doors and the best part is a full on office back here. That's pretty cool. You got a L shaped desk, storage, um, a TV screen in case you want to take a break from working. Window which I love. It's so nice to be able to see outside and remember, you know, you might be working right now, but when you're done with work, you get to go outside and explore wherever you're at. So that's pretty cool. Tetons, here we go. Oh, exactly. And you've got a big old closet. Love it. Lots of cabinet space. That's pretty amazing. Awesome. <laughs> well, there's one more nice surprise. I had no idea. A washer or a dryer and a washer. This is the first rig I've ever seen them side by side instead of stacked on top of each other. That's pretty awesome. And nobody knows, you can't see them. That's cool. Love it. Absolutely practical. Having that rear office in the back, having just such a huge floor plan, a huge space. 
This is pretty neat. And no matter where we go, the kids are comfortable. They are having fun. The, the only problem for us, though, is that they don't have their own bed. That's right. So I need to be sitting right here and hitting I-10 heading west. <laughs> so now that we toured a few uh, rigs for you, uh, we're going to find some treats and entertainment for the little ones. So, so uh, Emily requested a bubble car. Mm -hmm. Sophia requested snow cones and funnel cakes. Snow cones so. and funnel cakes. <laughs> we're on the hunt. Yes. Yeah. It's sweet tea time. Best in town. Is that a happy face? Yeah. Is there a song and dance? Yes. Where at? So songs. There he is. We see the umbrella. We're going to head that way. Yay. Sweet tea style. So we had a fantastic time at the show. Right now we're leaving. We're gonna be heading downtown to do a test drive of the new Winnebago ERV2. Yes. How exciting. So it's an electric yep. uh, class B. So yeah, I don't know what Maximus is gonna think about this, but we're still, still gonna do it. We're not telling Maximus. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? No, so we're gonna head that way and give it a drive. Here we go. That was amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. How epic is that? The entire show, there's so much to do, there's so much to see, all the entertainers, all the amazing people. What an experience. Yep. So <laughs> we're leaving now. We're going to go test drive the Winnebago ERV2. We're going to have some fun there. And the best part, because you know, as we travel, there's only one thing that's the priority, and that's food. Food. Yes. Yep. So first, we're going to find some food. And then we're going to test drive. <laughs> then, then we'll see some more RVs. Yes. <laughs> how epic is this? I had no idea it was at the Harley Davidson dealership. <laughs> yeah, how cool. How we're having a test drive at a Harley Davidson uh, dealership. And it's like a whole area with a restaurant and everything. I got a we Red Star no Bar idea. and Grill. I know. If you're going to test drive an EV of any kind, yeah. it needs to be at the Harley Davidson dealership. It's so cool. That's Can't fantastic. wait, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Let's go eat first though, remember? Absolutely. <laughs> hey guys, we are here at the Harley Davidson dealership here in Tampa, Florida, and I'm here with John from Winnebago. And as you guys can see, we've got the ERV2 right behind us, and we're here to talk all about Winnebago's plans, their scope, and find out exactly what's behind us right now and what that technology is. John? Well, last year at last year's Tampa show, we presented a concept vehicle. Mm -hmm. And we presented that and it was an idea. And then last year we brought that to something that is production intent. So this is an example of an RV ready to go. Um, and But we've got a lot of technology we want to test. So we built 12 units that we're going to get a lot of testing on. Mm -hmm. We've got technology on this vehicle. So it's not just how the customer interacts with the Ford e-Transit, 
We've uh, created our own proprietary uh, house electric system with Lithionics, yep. as well as created our own control system, ecosystem called Winnebago Connect. So there's a nice. lot of technology going on, and we really want to make sure we get that all right uh, with these products. So I tell you what, one of the things that I'm sure that all of you guys are asking is all about not only the environment, about how are you guys going to camp with this, it really is uh, the evolution of the RV industry and that's why it's so exciting. So I guess one of the first questions is, what is the typical range that we have with these vehicles? Well what Ford offers now, they, they um, advertise 108 conservative miles with mm -hmm. the product. We're not happy with that in production. Uh, we want greater range so we're, you know, asking and waiting and pushing forward oh, yeah. to provide something with a greater range on the e-transit. In the meantime, give us what you got and let's develop the product. And like I said, we've got a lot of technology. Everything else will be the same, so let's get a test fleet out there and make sure the product's right so we're ready to go when uh, Ford up their game. I tell you what, it's actually exciting. 108 miles is today's average, but as the technology advances, that's only gonna increase and these guys are working behind the scenes day and night to get their technology all perfected. So by the time both of those parallel uh, efforts converge, it's only a win for you guys. So I guess one of the last questions is, and I'm sure you guys are already asking, is how long can you boondock with a vehicle like this? With all of the solar, with all of the technology that you have, how long can you actually use this in a camping environment? Well, we've uh, got our own boondocking cycle. Mm -hmm. So we've created how much power we think the average customer would use under certain circumstances. So what we have is a product with our lithium house system where you can boondock in a mild climate for nine days. Wow. Doing average stuff, running the cooktop, running all your uh, lights and the standard stuff. If you start running the air conditioner, okay, that's gonna drop down. Absolutely, all absolutely. Right? But uh, our goal was to hit nine days under, you know, let's say a comfortable environment. Running the heater or running the air conditioning, okay, that's gonna start to diminish depending on how much you use those products. This house elect electric system is a 48 volt system, so we've paired that with a 48 volt air conditioner. Wow. It's the most efficient method, so I'm not doing a DC to DC, AC to DC conversion. It's 48 volts to 48 volts, and it provides the most efficient cooling for the coach. I tell you what guys, I'm excited. All the technology, engineering, research and development that's gone into this. Last year, we weren't doing test drives, and this year we are. Be so you know what, it's, it's fantastic. Beyond the test drive, when we're done here with the Tampa Super Show, we're gonna take the fleet, move it to Chiefland, Florida. We're gonna be there for five to six weeks. We've invited uh, users, owners, non-owners to come out, borrow the coach for a mm -hmm. week or two, go out, take it where you want it, give us the feedback. Then we're gonna to move to San Diego. We're gonna do the same thing out there. We've invited people in to use the coach and give us your feedback. And then we'll move up to the Northwest uh, in Washington, mm -hmm. do the same thing. For, so for the next three to four months, we're doing a lot of user testing to get the product right. That's awesome. And your feedback is absolutely invaluable because that's how the changes get incorporated. So, hey, that's why we're here. You know what? So let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. Oh, that's fantastic. Are you guys the first one in the industry to do an uh, electric? Well, yes. Th yes. That's the point, to get out there first. Yeah. So we have a viable product, and like we were saying earlier, we're interested in a better range from Ford. In the meantime, let's perfect this product yes. and make sure it's good to go uh, once we get a little better range uh -huh. uh, for the market. Uh, on the outside of the vehicle, there's two ways to charge. There's the charge port in the front, that is provided by Ford, you can DC fast charge. It will charge the house battery if you go through the Ford Pro system while you're charging. Okay. But to be more efficient and offer other 
uh, flexibility, there is a second charge port on the side of the vehicle that okay. goes right into the house battery. So let's say you get to a campsite, uh, both battery systems are, you know, a little bit low, a little challenge. Okay. You can plug them both in. One to the 50 amp at a campsite, that's wow. level two charging. You charge the propulsion battery. Simultaneously, you could take level one or 110, 15 amp service okay. and plug it into the house battery. Spend your evening, in the morning you're ready to go, everything's charged okay, up. Okay, that's so awesome. All right, let's look at the inside. A lot of B van owners like to cook outside. Yeah. You know, it's kind of a yeah. small environment in there. Let's cook outside while totally the weather's makes nice. Sense. You don't want to have the steak smell in your bedroom. Yeah. You know? Only when it's <laughs> raining heavily. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the refrigerator is easily accessed from outside. Here's yeah. your that's cooking awesome. location. You extend the counter with this drawer out anyway. So okay. yeah. Oh, okay. When you look at all the aesthetics, uh -huh. we call this a Japandi styling. Oh, okay. So it's a mix between Japanese and Scandinavian, oh. kind of the styling. Uh, oh, wow. So light and airy. Uh, yeah, it's very modern. Yep. I love it. So this floor plan is a little bit different than your typical Class B. Okay. Um, we have moved the social eating area toward the back on uh -huh. the other side of the bathroom and you have opposing couches. Okay, that's I, pretty neat. Yeah, and there's a table that it comes out and it's movable and can move in a, a, a you know infant number of positions. That's in cool. the meantime though, up front, Sure. You've got a secondary workplace. Okay. So if I flip the seat around. Oh, there's a desk. Yeah, so this is a workstation here with an induction charger for your phone. There's a oh, power okay. center and USBs. So somebody can work here, and let's say your significant other wants to work at the same time, you've got two places to work. That is so true because you have the table back here and then right. the fold up table in the front. Correct. I do love the benches that face each other because uh, it feels like. A dining room table but also a cozy like TV um, area where you can just talk and socialize and that's great all right guys we're here in the driver's seat we're gonna take it for a test drive I'm gonna tell you right now the feeling is natural I mean you're not wanting for space I'm 6'2 this is absolutely comfortable you know what the all of the features are exactly where you need it to be which is amazing you've got this how big is the screen here it's this, a 10 inch screen it's enormous yeah. you've got this huge uh tablet sitting right in front of you i mean the feeling the leather this is this is luxury all right foot on the brake foot on the brake start button and you're up and going look at that this is quiet powerful already i can feel it all right Rotate the to drive. Going to drive. All right. Off we go. So we're going to take a loop around the parking lot, get a feel for it. Wow. This right here. It's so amazing to have something this big and just be so seamless. It really is. And no blind spots. Absolutely. The mirrors, the windshield, the th I would say the huge peripheral view this is this is fantastic so we're gonna exit the parking lot down here and turn right all right the steering is just easy and flawless Maximus is right here sorry Maximus we're not training you in yet <laughs> so we're gonna turn right I tell you what having the screen right here with all of the interactions the features right there so talk, let's talk about backup cameras side cameras views things like that well uh if you want to pause here we can put it in reverse you'll get a 360 uh view um it's going to change a little bit with the would you look at that we're going backwards how amazing it's crisp color you get a 360 view Power and controls, ready to go. In uh, driving modes, you, you've got uh, a normal mode, an eco mode, and then if it's slippery out, you can adjust the drive uh, to handle a slippery. Look at that. Road to the left. All right, following the road to the left, the curves are gentle. You don't feel like it's wobbling back and forth. A lot of times 
when you're in your RVs, you, you take a curve too quick. If you uh, jar on the brakes too fast, you've got that oscillating back and forth, that kind of wide, you know, left and right action, that wobble. This is just precision. It well, really is. And actually, the, the where the batteries are located is low, so the center of gravity is quite low. Uh, so with that low center of gravity, you're not getting that uh, uh, swaying back and forth. It's a little, uh, it's noticeably uh, more controlled driving experience. It's amazing. All right, guys, so we're here. We got a long straightaway. We're gonna give it some gas and we're gonna see what it does. Ready? All right, it's floored, and this thing is just <laughs> smooth. Wow, you've got to be kidding me. That is just the acceleration alone. That is fantastic. All right, we got to slow down a little bit. We got the uh, crews out here working, so we're going to ease past them. You know what? It's so quiet, John. I don't even think they noticed we were there. <laughs> <laughs> This is amazing. The quiet is for your benefit though. I'll tell you uh, what. It's a different experience when you're in an electric RV. It absolutely is. And that is a successful test drive. Very good. So guys, that was fantastic. Uh -huh. Multiple test drives, all the latest in technology, going green while you RV. John, thank you so much for everything. This was an absolute pleasure. pleasure. Yes. Absolutely. Thank that you. was super fun and thank you for accommodating the girls too. Everybody yep. was giving them water and we're getting yeah. sandwiches, so that's super fun. No better <laughs> RV experience than bringing the family together. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.